guys, welcome back to another video. And you came here because you're interested in updating a mod, like manually. Assuming like the mod creator just hasn't updated it, or you came across a mod that's outdated, just doesn't work. Or assuming you want to edit the parameters in the mod, like the attack damage, you know, other factors of the mod, you know, things, stuff like that. I'm pretty new to Smithbox, so I don't really know much on those terms. But of course, if this doesn't work for you, comment, you know, concerns you know obviously help and if you need me to or want me to you know like upload or re-upload previously existing mods that just haven't been updated in a long time i can't do that i can't promise you that i'll actually be able to like fix any pre-existing bugs or change any of the uh, you know animations or make it like really anything better than just changing the damage i i don't know much more than that but if you need me to do that, I would be happy to. And, you know, now if you happen, let's get straight into the video. So basically what you're going to need is I'm going to assume you have mod engine. I'm, you know, because mods, basics for mods. I'm going to assume you have mod engine. So you only really need two things here. Maybe one if you already have Smithbox. So there are going to be timestamps in this video. The first part's going to be just installing Smithbox. And the second part is actually going to be using it to upgrade the parameters of that mod so you can use it on the latest version. So I do highly recommend creating a Smithbox fo folder or you know Smithbox files as I call it and going to the link in the description and getting yourself over to the Smithbox page download manual download it's going to ask you to download all these runtimes now all these runtimes work pretty simply they're going to be downloaded to your computer and it's going to look a little something like this you're going to get about three of them and if it tells you that it's already installed already downloaded then you probably already did this in the past or for some reason it's pre-installed on your computer so you don't have to worry about it but in my case since i didn't have any of these you're just going to want to click on all of these and it's going to ask you to install it because obviously I already have all of these installed so I do not need to reinstall any of them but assuming they stop working or assuming you want to stop using them you can always uninstall it pretty much do this across all three of them and then go ahead and manual download smithbox Slow download, it's gonna download. You are going to want to extract it, of course. For me, I put it in a file called Smithbox Files, and once it's extracted, you're going to want to you know, pick between two versions, the low requirement and the regular Smithbox version. So assuming you have a computer that has or meets the requirements, which I'm not too sure what the requirements are, I will more than likely post a comment or put it in the description once I figure that out, you know, after this video is made, etc. Telling you what like the physical hardware requirements are. They're not very high. You know, Smithbox isn't exactly a straining program, but assuming you can't run it normally, just use Smithbox low requirements. It's the exact same thing with, you know, a few missing features that aren't really too key, but you know. Nonetheless, choose whichever one. For me, I'm going to use regular Smithbox since I have like a thousand dollar computer. And it's going to tell you, well, you have to find Smithbox. So I just typed in Smith, typed in Smithbox, clicked on it. Now, basically, it doesn't really have an introduction page. There's no like tutorial or anything. It's just going to tell you to create or load a project, you know, or at least that's what it said for me. So as you can see, I've already created quite a few projects here for Gamma's Unbound, Untarnished Great Runes, you know, like, etc. Quite a few projects to upgrade here. Okay, so now that we are into the segment of actually using Smithbox after it's downloaded, or any of the people here who just skipped to this part because they already have Smithbox downloaded, Obviously, find your mod, find the mod that you want to use that's outdated. You know. So, for me, I'm going to be using this. It should work on any version. It doesn't matter how old the mod is. You know, it could be from the very first version of the game. It could be just a few versions ago. It really doesn't matter. 
So I already have this one installed. It's called the Elden Ring True Unbound Awakened Magical Overhaul, which yeah, I thought really looked cool. And of course, you're gonna get the download. Then you're gonna want to, of course, you know, like zip that stuff or unzip it or extract it. I'm sorry, not zip. Once of course you have whatever you were looking for downloaded. For me, I've already extracted it, but once you get it, there's going to be an extract option, and you can go ahead and do that. So once it's extracted, you're going to want to go here, or you know wherever your mod is. And it's going to show you quite a few things here. What you're going to want to do is you want to copy and paste or drag. I like to copy and paste so I can keep the original contents of the mod in the folder. You're going to want to copy and paste that into wherever your mod engine folder is, which, like earlier, I assume you already have downloaded. So let's see, where did I keep my mod engine? Here's my mod engine. Click right here, you click on mod, and you're gonna wanna delete that, delete the contents of whatever is already there. Copy and paste the new mod, or the mod that you wanna upgrade the uh, parameters to. Okay, once it's done, pretty much all you need to do for the mod itself. Let's see here. So, in terms of the project name, you know, name it pretty much whatever you want to name it. For me, I'm going to call it Unbound. Unbound Magic, and obviously Project Directory. You are going to want to go to wherever your mod engine folder is. Click on Mod. And then you're going to want to click on Select Folder once you're in the mod page. Or the mod folder. Then it's going to ask you to find your Elden Ring folder, or your Elden Ring executable. Now, if you know what this is, great, but if you don't like me, then you might want to make a shortcut for it, like I did here, I called the Elden Ring Game Elden Ring Game Folder. And if you are unaware on how to locate the Elden Ring Game Folder, I can do that for you. It works the same in Epic and Steam, basically just going on an application, going to the install location, and it will tell you and you can shortcut it if you need to. So, once that's done, go in here, go to Elden Ring, you know, the, obviously the executable. Go to copy and paste, once you have that done. Copy and paste that here, into that file thing. And then, click Elden Ring executable. Import row names, create. I'd like to replace it. If I ask you to replace it, just replace it. Go to Param Editor. And obviously it's going to say this version's out of date. Just upgrade params. And it might give you a warning that this has like been upgraded or something, you know, etc. And just skip it and it should do the exact same thing no matter what. You know, it depends on the warning and any specifics. So file. Save all modified params. And of course you can't edit the params like the attack, like the damage, etc. You know. Depends on if you really know how to use Smithbox. Once you've saved it though, like I did earlier, saved all modified params. Go here, go to wherever you keep the file. Wherever you keep, you know, mod engine. And it should have a dot Smithbox and possibly a few other things like the bin dot upgrade back thing here. Then, of course, this is the end of the video. Actually, no, this isn't the end of the video. Of course, you know, you can probably explain this for yourself, but once you do have it updated, you probably are gonna wanna go back to wherever you kept the mod originally. On File Explorer, download, you know, right here, and delete the contents of it previously for obviously, you know, the updated version that you've just downloaded. So if you need to merge this with anything, or if you wanna do, you know whatever you want with it basically this is just that but the upgraded version and obviously same thing if you want to add the parameters just save all you know exit out of the application you know copy and paste the contents of the mod folder into the previous folder and basically you just have that mod updated however you would like it to be so 
So this is more or less the end of the video in terms of actually how to do it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, comment them down below. And the rest of the video is just going to be me testing it out. You know, stick around if you want to see if it actually works, which, you know, it should. Okay, if you're still here, I'm just going to be testing out the mod, like, see if it works. Oh, what the actual fuck. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, it definitely works. But I look like Right. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell the mod works. Uh you know. For some reason I you know, I can probably, you know, say it definitely works, definitely works. So, I'm just gonna be messing around with the mod for the rest of the video. Keep in mind, I don't make any money off of this, so I'm not just making it longer so I can get money. Although, that is a pretty good idea for when I actually am capable of making money. Let's see. I can't get myself a seal here. I'm gonna find the flame seal. Ow! Let's see what else changed in the, the patch notes for the game. True Awakened Unbound Royal Greatsword. Rivers of Blood. Okay. Let's see what Rivers of Blood got. Wait, wait. Rivers of Blood, see what spells. Stars of Ruin. And... Unbound Death Lightning. Let's see. What do we have here for Death Lightning? Ice lightning. Let's see here. Rain of stars. Let's see what? What is this death lightning stuff? Let's see. What the fuck? Are the lightning incantations just gone? Huh? That does part of the mod. I don't know. Great. Death lightning. Ice lightning. Like in there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go for Rivers of Blood. Why not? Let's see. Let's uh, throw in a. What in the actual. Okay, so I noticed pretty well into the video that I was recording way too long after the tutorial was done. Anyways, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. This is a voiceover, you know, towards the end of the clip. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Of course, if you need me to update any of the mods, or any mods you need me to update, of course, just link them in the description, or, you know, not in the description, I mean, in the comments, or send them to me on Discord or whatever. And I can probably get those updated for you. And, of course, if you have any problems with actually updating it, which you really shouldn't, then, you know, comment them or just DM me on Discord. And make sure to join my Discord server if you haven't already. All right, see you in the next video.